things we don't know. Putting science in your hands. The Secrets of Aging. At the moment, at least, aging is an inevitable part of life. And yet, scientists don't really understand how or why we age. It's thought that a combination of pre-programmed bodily changes and environmental issues are responsible, but how these interact isn't clear. Some researchers in this area aim to help us make better lifestyle choices, such as eating more healthily or exercising more, in order to live a long and healthy life. Others are looking for a way to stop the aging process in its tracks. Perhaps the first question that needs answering before we can fully understand the aging process is whether it's something coded into our genes, or simply a case of our bodies wearing out. From an evolutionary point of view, once an animal is too old to reproduce, it isn't much use, so may not be worth the food needed to keep it alive. This means it makes sense for animals to die as soon as they're no longer fertile. There have been some suggestions that human women live so long post-menopause because they were useful in helping to look after their grandchildren, making their offspring more successful. But it isn't clear that this benefit would run to humans living as long as we do now. Another possibility is that rather than being an evolutionary advantage, aging is purely a result of damage accumulating in our bodies, meaning that if we could prevent that damage, we may be able to extend our lifespans indefinitely. One of the ways in which our bodies are damaged as we get older is down to the build-up of free radicals. Free radicals are produced as a normal part of metabolism, and are important for cells to signal and communicate with each other. But they're highly reactive. This means they tend to interact with molecules in the body, and this can cause cells to die or become cancerous. If too many free radicals are produced, the body's natural protective mechanisms can't handle the onslaught and damage can occur. This is known as oxidative stress and builds up as you get older. Taking in extra antioxidants from foods such as blueberries is thought to help neutralize these free radicals. However, more research is still needed before we can say for sure that consuming antioxidants can prevent disease or extend life. Throughout our lives, our bodies have to grow, change and heal. The chromosomes that make up our DNA replicate themselves, allowing cells to divide. This is a difficult process, and each time it occurs, the very ends of each chromosome are missed. This would be really bad news if it meant that information was lost each time the cells divide. But luckily, nature has a solution. The end section of each chromosome is called a telomere. This is a section of repeating nucleotides which protect the rest of the chromosome, preventing important information from being lost. But as the telomere gets shorter with each cell division, the number of times a cell can divide is limited. We don't know whether it's the act of the telomere shortening that causes the symptoms of aging, but researchers are keen to find out whether it's possible to replenish these sequences. In some types of cell, such as stem cells, an enzyme replaces the telomeres after each division, meaning the cells can, in theory, live forever. Harnessing this ability may bring us one step closer to eternal youth. While some scientists are trying to discover the common factors that cause all of us to age, others are investigating why some people survive an unusually long time despite not living particularly healthy lifestyles. It's likely that the difference is down to their DNA. We know that people react differently to different drugs and lifestyles, but isolating the genes responsible is a mammoth task. In many cases, it's a combination of genetics and environmental influences that leads to a particular disease developing. One day, genetic testing may lead to medicine for all diseases being personalised for each individual. Already, testing for genes linked with breast cancer allow at-risk individuals to take preventative measures, and the dosage of some drugs can be altered depending on a person's genetic makeup. 
For the moment though, for most diseases, the days of personalised medicine are a long way off. Even if it was possible to find a gene responsible for every disease, it's still not that simple. Although all the cells in our body, other than our red blood cells, contain a full copy of our DNA, not all of it is used in each cell. The genes which make up our DNA tell cells how to make various proteins, so only the genes that carry instructions for making proteins the cell needs will be activated. How genes are regulated is complex and isn't well understood. As well as internal factors like what kind of cell the DNA is in, environmental factors such as diet also have an influence. This area of research, known as epigenetics, has had a huge impact on our understanding of genetics. It shows that what's coded in our DNA is not the full story. Our lifestyle, and even that of our parents and grandparents, can influence which genes are turned on and so affect our health and how we age. As the search for the secret of eternal life continues, scientists have begun to turn to other animals for clues. All sorts of different animals have been hailed as holding the secret to eternal youth, but one of these is the naked mole rat, which lives in East Africa. Most other rodents of its size have short lifespans, a maximum of four to five years for mice and rats, but the naked mole rat can live for over 20. Scientists are trying to explain why they can live such a long time, but it might be due to their very low metabolism, and their ability to reduce it further during times of hardship. These periods might give them a chance to deal with oxidative stress more effectively, so their body would accumulate less damage than it otherwise would. They also seem to be hugely resistant to cancer. In fact, a naked mole rat with cancer has never been discovered. Mining the secrets of the animal kingdom may be our best bet in our fight to extend our healthy lifespan. As well as looking for animals that naturally live a long time, researchers have found artificial methods of increasing some animals' lifespans. For example, severe calorie restriction allowed mice to live 50% longer than normal. However, these gains come at a price. The long-lived mice suffered from reduced fertility, and flies bred to live longer don't reproduce as successfully as their short-lived counterparts. When it comes to humans, while extending life may seem like a good aim, it wouldn't be so positive if it came at the cost of health. Trials like this are also very difficult to conduct on humans due to the safety risks involved and the necessarily time-intensive nature of the trial required. The social implications of extending human life are also of great concern. As people live longer and the old outnumber the young, the question of how we pay for the older generation is raised. Retirement ages will need to rise with life expectancy, but that can only be feasible if the mental and physical problems that are associated with old age are defeated so people can work for longer. Currently, researchers believe that human lifespan does have an upper limit, so life expectancy won't just keep increasing indefinitely. What this age limit might be, however, isn't clear and probably won't become so for many years to come. <laughs>